Welcome back to Walls a Day. Our Walls a Day is AE, a 1982 release from Programmers 3 Incorporated and Broderbund. It's AE. We're going to hear on an Apple IIe and Virtual 2. I've got a, a joystick hooked up because this is kind of like a fixed screen uh, shooter. I think the game is just loading here with while this uh, manta ray swims across the screen. I feel like I feel like I've seen this manta ray before in another Broderbund title. I'll have to go back and check some other footage. And now I think we're going to execute a disc flip. To side B of AE. Media eject disk. Let's hit the uh, space to continue. Get into it. Start blasting. Where's that ship at the bottom? Oh no. Start blasting with the, the action button. Not entirely sure what controls the distance. It seems like you have to hold the button down. But if you keep on holding it down. Oh. Oh, that went well. I think you also can get chains going like that. Oh no, I gotta get this last guy. This last dude. Oh no, he's flying behind the buildings. There's this kind of like pseudo 3D. Um, oh no, we just got blasted ourselves. Pseudo 3 3D aspect of the backgrounds this is pretty nice. Pretty nice uh, backgrounds for the era. And, uh,. The backgrounds change up each stage. Let's see if we can get to stage two at some point. Are we getting blocked by things here? Is that what's going on? Oh no. We're, we're getting blasted more than we're doing in Boston, so let's see. Let's see if we can get back into it here. This enemy does a victory lap with the game over screen. Let's see if we can beat that high score. Nope. <laughs> That's not it. I feel like I'm not having great luck here, <laughs> as you can see. There we go, got a chain. Look at this guy. Come on. Come back here. Face me. Oh no. Face me, but not like that. That's a good chain. I feel like just the shots are so... Feel... The, the, the controls don't feel great. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, let me put it that way. I don't have a good sense for the cooldown. Or like the shot distance, or what's what's going on here? Okay, we got that perfect attack. Oh no! Now they're mixing it up on us. I think that's gonna be game over though. Is that right? Well, they had to they had to swoop off first, so they could swoop back and give us the game over. I did uh, do better that time. I'm gonna do high score twenty five hundred. Let's. Let's see if we can get a handle on these controls. It feels like it's location based, but I don't know. So is there a tactical element to this? Oh no. I hate tactical elements. If you can't tell. No. <laughs> I just need mindless blasting. Oh no. You can't move up or down. I feel like some of these should be hidden. Like, I don't know what exactly is going on with the collision detection. It's very unforgiving when it comes to them hitting me. Uh, pretty forgiving when it comes to my bullets hitting them, though. That's what it seems like.
Maybe that's game over. Do I need to be like hitting a second, hitting it once, and then hitting it a second time to explode it? Is that? Have I just been doing that by accident somehow sometimes? No, it's not. Like, do I need to have it explode on the enemy? It feels like it's related to how long I hold the, the joystick button. And where I am. Maybe it's just completely random. <laughs> oh, there we go. But still, the cooldown just does not feel good. It does not feel... correct. Oh, there we go. Oh, maybe we can plink it out here. I don't know if that's something you can do in AAE. It's getting our feet about us. Getting our space feet. Getting our space legs. That's what I was, that's what I was looking for. Space legs. I mean, it looks like we're in space. Oh no. Uh, there are some long plays of this where you just want to see all the backgrounds. Uh, I don't think we're going to see all the backgrounds today. <laughs> you can't tell. <laughs> we might not even see another background. I don't know. I feel like this, this is a game that does have more to show you, but um, it's not doing too great with it. There we go. So maybe you do just have to like get the get the projectile to blow up in time. There's a timing element. Seems like it. Seems like it. So that, maybe that's the key to success with. So you gotta release the button so that it, the projectile will blow up and it'll hit that explosion or fire in a way that. They're going to hit the explosion. Let's see if we can do it better, now that we have that knowledge. Gotta admit, that's why I kind of do the narration here, because like that, that would not be immediately clear. And probably somebody else playing this game would have the, a similar frustration if they weren't familiar with it. So my idea is to uh, leave you with an idea of how you might play the game, see the frustrations somebody would go through, Play a game and decide if it's for you or not. And you get exposed to weird, early, obscure Apple II games. Because I have not heard of AE before this. Uh, maybe you have, but maybe this is giving you some good nostalgia or uh, some good rage at how poorly I'm playing AE. Let's see. Let's try now that we know a little bit more about uh, the blasting mechanics. I still feel like it. The controls are just not, not not that great. Good. Get a good chain going. There we go. Oh no. I got blasted too. Probably if you know the patterns well and the timing well, you do pretty well. Unlike me. Alright, let's see. Let's give it another go here.
There we go. Oh no. Maybe you take him off once you bless him. Oh, so they're flying into the explosion. That's what's going on with chains. Yeah. Still doing pretty poorly. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, no. Famous last words. Let's give it one more go here. Linked one off there. Linked another one off. Oh no. This cooldown, I feel like the cooldown is just... Man, they really uh, are dropping it on me. <laughs> Maybe it's like the button-up sampling, or how that interacts with Virtual 2 as well? I don't know. That makes these controls just feel kind of... kind of not great. Because presumably it's trying to sample for both the button-down and the button-up event, and um... Feels like it's not doing too, too great with that. And then I feel like whenever I have a good run, that's when I got like zero lives left. Oh no. Still got that 2500 high score. I feel like I can do better, better than that, but uh, let's see. There we go. Any good uh, AE high score community? AE speedrunning community? Oh no. Oh, we, we blasted each other there. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. You gotta predict both the location and the distance where you want that explosion to be. Kinda hard. And you gotta time it. Just like that. Maybe not just like that, but you know what I mean. You got these little guys, we're not really in waves. I'm just randomly flitting around the screen. Gotta make an explosion where you think they might go. It's semi predictable. But then you gotta watch out for him too. Yeah, I thought it was a goner there. Are we going to see another uh, flight pattern in some way? <laughs> I'll take another flight pattern or another stage.
Kind of just plinking these guys off. Do I have to clear a whole wave at once? The deal? Seems like it. Not having much luck with these guys. Now we're back to these dudes. Something could happen. Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> ah, that's what I do. A lot, a lot going on to manage. Uh, oh man. It's a lot, it's a lot to think about. There we go. Oh no. Doing all right there. For a stretch. That's a good, uh, good camping pattern there for you. Well, AE Pro Strat, and somebody who is not good at the game at all. Oh, here we go, we've done it. Success. At long last. We've got a little bit of an idea of how, uh, <laughs> how AE works. We got to see stage two. Um, yeah, got a new high score of 10,100. That's game over. Uh, but I think that's going to do it here for me with AE for Waza Day. And if you like uh, interesting early Apple II games like this, go ahead and subscribe. And I'll see you tomorrow for our next Waza Day.